We all love to brunch, so why not do it in your home and have exactly what you want? This French toast, it is so much easier than making it for each person. It is an overnight blueberry French toast. Cube some bread, make a delicious milk and egg mixture to go over the top. And then to top it all off, you need a butter and brown sugar glaze. Add that serving of fruit with some delicious blueberries tossed inside, some nuts, let it sit overnight so the work is all done. Bake it in the oven until it is crispy and yet delicious on the inside. Spoon it out with some maple syrup and powdered sugar. <laughs> Let me tell you something, brunch has never been this good. And it's all coming up on today's Wise Guide. I'm sure I am not the first to notice because I know you all do too, brunch is in. But isn't it always in? I mean, who doesn't love brunch? Think about it. You can have all those delicious egg dishes you like. You can also have any of the salads or really of those good hearty lunch dishes you love. You can put them together in the middle of the morning because let's be honest, if it's a weekend, who wants to wake up too early and make like a hearty breakfast? I mean, I don't. Even if I get up early, I'm not in the mood to do that. That's why brunch is perfect. So I'm gonna be bringing you a whole bunch of brunch ideas. And what is great about those is they can be turned into lunch ideas, dinner ideas, or just breakfast ideas. But let's make it easy. Like this overnight blueberry French toast. You know what's great about this? When you have that extra oomph in the evening right before you go to bed, you can throw this together, put it in the fridge overnight, and then it is ready to bake whenever you get up. It can be early for breakfast, it can be a little bit later for lunch, it can be in the middle and be brunch. It's perfect and it is so simple. To start, you just wanna cube your bread. I like to use a really good eggy challah. You don't have to use this kind of bread if it's hard for you to find. I just like to use it because it's a delicious bread. Also, a brioche should be really good or any good store-bought bread is gonna be perfect for this. I don't like to buy pre-sliced bread because I think they're kind of sliced too thinly. I like to have really chunky pieces of cubes, almost an inch in size. So just cube it up and then throw it right into a greased nine by 13 baking dish. I kind of grease anything I bake in because you know what? Yeah, you know, the cleanup is easier. You could also butter it if that's what you like to do. Just anything that's gonna help it be a little bit more nonstick. Put all the bread right into the baking dish and yes, it's gonna be mounded, but that's exactly what you want. Once all that bread is thrown in there, you can just get that delicious egg mixture to go over the top. Start with your eggs. I love eggs, and when they are mixed with all this goodness, you know they're gonna be good. And if you notice, these eggs look extra delicious. Those yolks are the most beautiful color yellow because my friend raises eggs. So I love to get them from her. It really does make a difference when you get homegrown eggs. I mean, look at these. They're like little pieces of sunshine right in your bowl. <laughs> you guys, they're beautiful eggs. Once all the eggs are in there, I like to break them up first. Sometimes if you put everything in together and then whisk it, you don't get all the eggs broken up and mixed together well. So just break up all those yolks and then whisk it until it's combined. Add in some whole milk and some half and half. Yeah, I, I didn't say this was like a really light French toast, but isn't that the point? It's French toast. You don't want to have like crispy, thin crust French toast. That's, that's sad brunch. No sad brunch here. Add some vanilla. And then since we are gonna be adding blueberries, you know what you have to add when you have blueberries? Lemon. So I'm first zesting lemon. I'm gonna add it right in. I love this time of year because all the citrus is so much more fresh because it's in season. And since I'm using zest, I do like to buy organic lemons for sure because you're using that skin. Even though you're gonna wash it anyway, organic is really better. Once you zest the lemon, you can just throw that right in and then juice it. Yeah, usually I'd get out my hand juicer and like do it all right, but you know what? Sometimes I'm just not in the mood to get out another utensil. So I just do it through my hand. It's okay, we're having friends over for brunch. We don't mind eating off someone else's hand. A little bit of cinnamon. I just really think one French toast needs some cinnamon and it really goes well with like the bright citrus and the blueberries. Whisk that all together till it's really well combined and then toss in your blueberries. I'm using frozen blueberries because when blueberries are in season, I buy as many as I can and whatever I can't eat or stuff in my face, I freeze because they're best when they're in season and that way I just don't have to buy those ones that look okay in the grocery store this time of year, but then you pop one in your mouth and you're like, well, that has no flavor. 
Just toss this around, make sure they're kind of evenly in there. They don't need to be like in a perfect way put in there, just however it looks even. And then slowly drizzle that over all those prepared bread cubes. I like to go slow at this point because I really wanna make sure to get some over all that bread cubes just to get it started to moisten. Once it's all in there, you can kind of press it down slightly. To finish this up, we need a little bit of extra something special on the top. First, I like to just toast some pecans. Usually I do it in the oven, but I'm going on the stove for this. So just put them into a skillet and toss them around until they're evenly toasted. While those are toasting, you just wanna to melt together your butter, brown sugar, and some corn syrup. The corn syrup helps it not separate and keeps the brown sugar and the butter together and combined. Then add in some cinnamon. Place the mixture on the stove over medium heat. You wanna bring it up to a very low simmer just so it all melts together. Once the pecans are toasted, you can just pull them off the heat, put them onto a cutting board, chop them up. I don't mind big pieces because I like people to see the pecans. I think there's just something decadent about pecans with French toast. Once all the pecans are chopped, you can just evenly sprinkle them over the top. And at this point, the mixture should be just about all melted together and smooth. Just keep stirring and it will be ready to go. Once that mixture is all melted together, you can just drizzle that evenly over the top. Again, I like to go slow here because I want to make sure each little bit has some of that delicious glazed sweetness on top. Once that's all on there, you can just cover it with some saran wrap just so it doesn't soak up any of the flavors that could be in your fridge. Not that your fridge has flavors or smells, but let's be honest, you know, every so often I just have like an onion sitting out in my fridge and I know that's stupid, but it happens. Let that sit overnight. It can be eight hours, it can be 10 hours, don't worry, it is gonna be great. Once you're ready to bake it, take it out of the fridge, take that saran off, you don't want that melted all over on there, and put it right into a preheated oven. Like, your house is gonna smell delicious, everyone coming over is gonna say, hello brunch, I am ready, and you're gonna be like, oh yeah, no problem, <laughs> easy. Once it's baked, it is gonna be puffed, golden, all of it is gonna to meld together and it's really gonna hold up. Pull it out of the oven. Don't think you can just eat it right away because you'll all walk away with burned mouths. Let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes. Serve it up, sprinkle it with some powdered sugar if you like, maybe some more blueberries, a little bit of maple syrup just because, you know, you love your friends and why not? I know you're gonna enjoy this overnight blueberry French toast as much as I do. And if you agree, make sure to like, share, subscribe. For the recipe, go to the description box. And until next time, let's get brunching.